Welcome to this session for the Clarity v. Classic PPM Administration Access. My name is Katherine Ellis and I am a Product Manager for Clarity. This presentation provides information on how the administration access rights work in the product as of 1602, with additional details for the 1603 enhancements. It does not cover additional system configuration setup or rights. The focus is primarily on the navigational behavior with respect to the explicit and inherited permissions between Classic PPM and Clarity for administrative actions. Let's understand some of the terminology that I will use in this presentation. An access right or a right is referred to as the named right that can be granted to a user. A permission is the set of permissions that are included in the specific access right granted to the user. These permissions provide the access to navigate, read, write, delete, and create data. Classic PPM refers to the classic Clarity user interface and Clarity refers to the new user experience. Resources in the context of this presentation uh, is referred to as users for administration. Users are people that can log into the system. So the word resources and the word users are used interchangeably within this presentation. I will cover these specific access rights that can be granted in different combinations to a user at the global level. The name and description can also be found in classic PPM administration license information portlets. The minimum access for blueprints administration is a view permission. Therefore, any of the blueprint rights can be granted because they contain the view permission. Note, at the time of this recording, there is one outstanding issue reported to engineering to correct the description for the administration authorization access right. I will cover the details on the permissions the user gets for this right. Refer to the associated knowledge base article number 246491 for specific details and to follow the progress on the resolution of the issue described. This matrix provides a comparison of what access the user will have when a specific administration right is granted. The first right, Administration Access, provides a navigational permission to the administration menu in both Classic PPM and Clarity. It doesn't provide additional permissions to perform actions in Classic PPM. However, it does provide access to the system settings tile in Clarity. As you can see, this navigational permission is included in other rights, highlighted in red. Some of the other rights require a combination of adding the administration access right for navigating into the menu. The administration access to attributes, blueprints, API access, and integration mapping are only available in Clarity. Because all four blueprint rights include the view permission, any of the blueprint global rights can be granted in combination with the administration access right. Permissions to edit the users in the system can be granted in two different ways. The administration authorization right provides permissions for the admin to edit all the users in system, whereas the administration resources right only provides the navigation into the classic PPM administration resources page. The admin won't see any resources unless they have also been granted to view and edit the users through the resources edit right. Granting the combination of both the administration resources and resources edit rights will provide the administrator with permissions to edit all or a subset of users because the resources edit right can be granted through global, OBS, or instance level. The last two rights are listed here because they provide access to perform actions in classic PPM 
and they include the administration access permission which automatically allows the admin to access the system settings tile in Clarity. This is quite a busy slide, but we'll break it down and go through the different combinations. This slide provides a quick overview of the different rights and how they impact access to Classic PPM's administration area and access to Clarity's administration area. This slide represents the tiles available with access in Clarity on release 1602. And this slide represents the tiles available with access in Clarity release 1603. A new tile for user management is now available as a beta enhancement. The primary right that provides navigational access into the Classic PPM and Clarity administration areas is the Administration Access right. This right automatically gives the administrator access to the Clarity System Settings tile. This will then give the administrator the ability to update the branding logo, the login message, and to set up user home pages within Clarity. Although it provides navigation into the classic PPM administration menu, it provides no additional functional administration access unless additional rights are granted. To manage field-level security, label changes, and tooltips in Clarity, the administrator needs to have the Attributes Management Navigate right granted plus the Administration Access right. With this combination, the admin can manage attributes and system settings in Clarity. No additional administration activities can be performed within Classic PPM. Within Clarity, to manage blueprints, the administrator needs to have one or more blueprint right granted plus the administration access right. With this combination, the admin can manage all blueprints and system settings in Clarity. No additional administration activities can be performed within Classic PPM. There are multiple types of authorization to manage as an administrator. This slide represents the tiles available from 1602, and I will not go in detail here. Let's go to the next slide to cover the topic as of 1603, which includes a new enhancement. There are multiple types of authorization to manage as an administrator. Simply granting the Administration Authorization Access, which includes the menu access, will allow the admin to perform actions in both Classic PPM and Clarity. In Classic PPM, the authorization right allows the admin full access to manage resource users, user groups, and integration setup. In Clarity, the tile for Authentication and Keys workspace has multiple tabs, three of which are shown here, and additional tabs that are not shown here but can be accessed through different access combinations. Clients can be created, but if the system option Enable API key-based access is not enabled, users will not be able to create their own API keys. With this authorization right, the Users tile provides the admin the ability to manage user group membership for users. Because this right grants permissions to edit user profiles, the admin can also update property fields in this workspace. The combination of rights for Administration Access and API Access provides the admin with the ability to view and delete API keys created by users in the system in the Keys tab from the Authentication and Keys tile, and from the avatar the ability to create a personal API key if clients have been defined and the system option is set to Enable API Key-Based Access. No additional administration activities can be performed within Classic PPM. If the API access right is granted without the administration access right, the user will still have access to create their own API keys through the avatar menu. As a prerequisite, an administrator with access into Classic PPM Administration System Options page can set the option to Enable API Key-Based Access. 
also an administrator with access into Clarity's authentication and keys tile, must set up at least one client. Based on granting this access right alone, the user cannot access Clarity unless they also have at least one other modern UX menu navigational access right granted, such as My Workspace or Project Management. The user will not have the administration menu access for both Classic PPM and Clarity. The combination of rights for Administration Access and Integration Mapping Navigate provides the admin with the ability to manage integration mappings and data type compatibility within Clarity. No additional administration activities can be performed within Classic PPM. The Administration Resources right includes the Administration Access Permission, which allows the user to access Clarity's administration menu and to manage the system settings. From within Classic PPM, this right only provides the navigation into the Classic PPM Administration Resources page. The admin won't see any resources unless they have also been permitted to view and edit the users through the Resources Edit right. Granting the combination of the Administration Resources and Resources Edit rights will provide the administrator with permissions to edit all or a subset of users because the Resources Edit right can be granted through Global, OBS, or Instance level. The Administration Application Setup right includes the Administration Access Permission, which allows the user to access Clarity's Administration menu and to manage the system settings. From within Classic PPM, this right provides Administration permissions to set up core areas within the product. The Administration Studio right includes the Administration Access Permission, which allows the user to access Clarity's Administration menu and to manage the system settings. From within Classic PPM, this right provides Administration Permissions to set up Studio Objects and Classic Portlets, Portlet Pages, and Themes within the product. Thank you for your attention regarding this session of Clarity versus Classic PPM Administration Access.